It's like a ticking bomb. The tick population here in the Bay State is booming. We've all been enjoying the warm winter, but Dr. Richard Pollock says the conditions are perfect for ticks to develop quickly. Probably more important, though, is the, the relative humidity. Uh, deer ticks are exquisitely susceptible to drying out. The area where we're standing, a grassy area, is fairly dry. Uh, it's not good habitat for deer ticks. But some of these carry uh, some infections. They're not born with the infections. Usually they pick it up from mice that are out there. Um, and they can transmit those infections to people. If a tick attaches itself to your skin, it can feed on your blood for seven to nine days. If you detach the tick immediately, your risk of catching infections or diseases is low risk. Using a tweezer-like tool is the easiest method. Otherwise, common infections like Lyme disease can break out. Late last year, David Monty Montero had an outbreak of the disease. I got the classic bullseye on my arm, which, you know, is red on the outside and white on the inside and a little dot in the middle. Even though ticks are on the rise, parents at this Boston park say they're not too worried about them. I actually haven't thought about it at all yet at this point. You know, I'm sure that as the coverage picks up, that's something we'll think about more. To avoid exposure to ticks, Dr. Pollock says to tuck your pants into shoes, wear long sleeves, and apply repellent. For WEBN News, I'm Angeline Vo.